Hello, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to TLC. We are going back into the archives today. I found a message from April of uh, 2022. And that reminds me, the uh, 2022 ebook, uh, Life Words, is underway. But today I'm going to read that message because I just feel like the Lord's saying, this is really appropriate for this time. The title of the message is On His Shoulders. This was given on Oh, wait a minute. This was given actually on January 13th, 2021. I thought it was from 2022. Hmm, maybe I played it again in 22. Well, must be worth it because it's coming around again. The title is On His Shoulders. The government is on his shoulders. There are no chips on his shoulder. And he says... My people, many of you are waking up. This is not something you do on your own. My spirit awakens those chosen to be awakened. Remember my words in Matthew and Isaiah. Matthew 13, the purpose of the parables, says in verse 10. Then the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, you will indeed hear, but never understand, and you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has already been sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy, yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another case sixty, and in another thirty. And so the Lord says, I awaken whomsoever I choose, so do not turn and take pride in being awakened. It was not your doing or choosing, choosing that caused it to happen. Today, I want you to look at my shoulders. What do you see? Are they narrow and small, too weak to carry you or your burden? Are they overloaded with the burdens of others with no room for yours? Cancel your plans. They are small and weak and not anywhere near what my plans are for you. If you insist on following your own path and letting your plans set the course you will take, you will miss the opportunities, the lessons, the joy, and the rewards I have for you along the way. Remember, sometimes joy comes in the midst of suffering, too. My plans will bring you into suffering, but the suffering will not endure forever. It is only for a moment in time.
Do not be afraid of the suffering. See me standing here in my own plans. Take away the view of time and see all things present with me. The joys of the time I spend in my body on earth, the sorrows of knowing their rejection and the pain of physical suffering, dying and death. That is ever present with me. I see and remember it all. It was the path chosen. It was the plan I set in motion and surrendered myself to. It was the perfect plan, and I am the perfect God. I could have made another plan, but nothing would have been so perfect in love. Dying for you was my plan from the beginning. Giving my life to save yours was the perfect decision. That is pure love. Learn from it. That is pure, selfless, complete love. Many of you are about to enter a time of greater suffering than you have ever known. Do not be afraid. I will be with you. I have already been there, and the reality of what it is, the reality of it is always with me. So how could I forget what I endured for you? It was the price I paid for you. It was the perfect plan, and it was perfect love. What plans have you made that are not my plans for you? Have you made plans to endure to the end, to refuse everything that will tempt you to turn away from me? Have you considered that my plan includes suffering for you just as it did for me? Why would I want your love to be less sacrificial than mine was for you? You cannot pay for your own sin. I have already done that. But you can choose to endure everything the future holds, trusting that I have seen and known what it holds for you, believing that my plan includes walking through those hard things, the temptation the, and the betrayal of others, the rejection, the mocking, the pain, physical and emotional, that will come your way in the days ahead. Persecution is beginning to rise in many nations where it did not exist before. There are many of my children who have come home to me in these present days, martyred for their faith, refusing to turn from me. Their reward is sure. Their crowns are prepared. They suffered greatly, but they counted the cost and knew there was nothing, nothing worth the sacrifice of their places by my side in eternity. And many more will come. And so, my people, my children whom I love, what will your answer be to me this day? Have you made your decision? Will you choose to lay aside your own plans for your life and receive the plans I've made for you? Will you choose this day to serve me to the end of your life? Will you determine in your heart to stand strong in your commitment to endure no matter what comes? Are you firmly decided that you will endure anything you are faced with, even to the very laying down of your own physical lives to be with me forever? Is your heart strong enough? Is your love genuine? Or only for the moments of comfort and security you experience, I ask you now, what do you believe genuine love to be? Let me answer the question. It is a laying down of your plans and your life to give up all that you are and all you possess or desire in this world for me and for my plans for you. It is loving in greater measure than you have ever done in your life because it is the giving up of your life to death for the one who loves you. It is making my priorities your priorities. It is making my plans for you, whether joy or sorrow, whether long life or martyrdom, whether suffering in your physical body or at ease in your flesh, be the very thing you embrace because I do the choosing and your will means nothing to you aside from complete submission and surrender to me 
and that because I want it. I have told you in these messages before, I want all of you. I want your complete being. It is what I gave for you, heart and all. Will you give the same to me? Remember, there is no peace for the wicked. There is only peace in me. My yoke is easy. My shoulders are broad and strong. Take my yoke upon you. I will give you rest in every trial. Through all the persecution, rejection, opposition, and every beating you will endure at the enemy's hand, whether mental or physical, even to death. Go ahead and choose to die to yourself now. Die to your plan, your will, and ways. This is in part how you will have the strength to stand strong in me. This is how you will be able to endure the things you see and what is yet to come. But know this. Your life is but a vapor, here then gone. My breath is in your body, my children. I never lose sight of that, nor of you, and my good plans for you include hard things. This yoke I carry on these very strong shoulders of mine will bless you as you take it upon yourself. So do not run ahead, except in this one thing that you will endure to the end, no matter the cost. I love you and I have proven it. What about you? And he signed this, preparing you to stand strong, I am and will always be, Almighty God. Father, we thank you for these words. We thank you for the challenge to us, the call to us, to make our decisions now and not in the moment of the trial. We thank you, Father God, that you remind us that you gave everything you have for us, including your life. Thank you, Lord. We bless the name of the Most High this day. You are truly good and your mercy is so far beyond anything we can comprehend that it just staggers the mind, God. Thank you so much for your goodness and your love and your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for hope. Hope in knowing that because we belong to you, you will take care. And that you are always good. We bless your name, Father, in the name of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. Amen. We love you guys. Don't forget to sign up for the retreat. We would love to see you there if Father is calling you there. Go to the website for the information. And once again, I'm going to be taking a few days off. I'm um, Suzanne's going to be doing the uh, Zoom meeting Friday, June 30th. So I hope you'll join her there. And don't forget Dave and Amelia on Sunday for Created for His Glory. I will be back Monday night. I'll be posting a few more pre-recorded uh, TLCs to get through the weekend. But I love you guys. Keep me in prayer. Keep Chuck in prayer. We're keeping you all in prayer. We love you so very much. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.